Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. The last 18 months have been difficult for former members of the Obama administration. They've been replaced by a regime, which, in the words of former Domestic Policy Council Director Melody Barnes, shows virtually no respect for constitutional principles, or often, basic human decency. And now they can do little more than complain about their successor's parade of outrages. Our democracy is under attack, warned former Attorney General Eric Holder. Former Assistant AG Lanny Brewer called the Trump administration's immigration agenda, contrary to the core values of this nation. Conscientious public servants cannot stay silent, wrote former Department of Homeland Security Secretary Jed Johnson, who also said President Donald Trump's separation of migrant children from their asylum-seeking parents is immoral and un-American. Former White House spokesman Jay Carney worried about the country's credibility under Trump. Donald Trump is sort of to politics what Bernie Madoff was to investment, according to ex-agriculture secretary Tom Vilsack. His birth control policy, said Obama campaign manager David Plouffe, is unconscionable. And yet for all the damage the Trump administration is doing to American democracy, several prominent Obama alums seem to have quietly made their peace with a subtler attack on the legitimacy of U.S. institutions. Today, many are lending the prestige of their White House resumes to scandal-fraught organizations in return for large sums of money. Some are even doing business with the Trump administration. Plenty of former Obama officials are leading scholarly lives as academics, working with nonprofits or in sectors of the corporate world far from the purview of their previous duties in Washington. Obama spokesperson Eric Schultz told HuffPost that Obama implemented unprecedented ethics rules, including cracking down on the revolving door by prohibiting former lobbyists from working on issues on which they lobbied, and by preventing appointees from lobbying the White House after working there. Schultz added that President Obama's White House was the first in modern history to not have a major scandal. None of the officials named in this article would comment on the record. These days, Johnson receives $290,000 a year to serve on the board of directors at Lockheed Martin, the largest American defense contractor and the world's biggest weapons manufacturer. It has been fined over $767 million for various forms of misconduct since forming in 1995, according to the Project on Government Oversight.